I wanted to share this exciting information about Comet C2020 R4 Atlas Comet. So this comet is a long period comet, roughly 1000 years or exactly 933 years. It comes to solar system every 1000 years or so. When it comes closer to the earth, it will be roughly around 0.5 AU, which is half the distance from the sun. So during the month of February, I kept watching this comet and it is actually behind the sun. So it is from earth's perspective, so it is having a conjunction with the sun and we were waiting for this comet to be visible and it started getting visible on the east side like today and uh, tomorrow march 1st is probably the time when you will when you will be able to see this comet like morning 6 o'clock roughly somewhere between east and southeast it's closer to the Jupiter, Mercury and Sun. It's beautiful. You can actually capture this comet like 6 in the morning right now. And as you move away from the March first, you can capture this comet along with these three planets same time the Jupiter, Mercury and Saturn as well. It's pretty wide enough angle, but maybe you can take a picture and you can combine them if it is a high focal length telescope. But it is too small, so you have to take the comet first. So this comet is currently visible around like 10 magnitude, so it is a telescope visible comet but during the month of March it will get brighter and it will peak on April 21st. So when it goes to April 21st it might get up to Mag 8 and some estimations are saying it might even go up to Mag 6. If it does go to Mag 6 it is visible to binoculars but let's see how bright the comet is going to get. It's always hit and miss. So it is actually moving from the east to the west and when it is moving you can actually take this comet along with some pictures with the other deep space objects. It does pass the Milky Way as well. So there are quite of photo opportunities that we can get with this comet. I'm not sure how big the tail is going to be, but definitely you will see the green hue of this comet. The comet is not very big. It is like 10 kilometers in diameter. And the coma of this comet is 44,000 kilometers. So compared to like huge comets, I think this comet is not that big but you can take the green hue of the comet when you are taking pictures. So I wanted to put this exciting information. So if you are planning to take pictures or wanted to see with the binoculars if possible in April 21st, I think uh, particularly in the North Hemisphere, uh, this is one of the opportunities. Very slim chance for the binoculars, but I will share the pictures with you if I do take a picture of this comet. So if you are new to this channel, I take pictures of deep space objects, comets, asteroids. If you are interested in these videos, please give me a thumbs up and uh, please click on that uh, like button and the notification button. Thank you for watching.